Hi friends, welcome to 30 Inks, 30 Days, Day 16. Now we're halfway there and we can be living on a prayer together. Let's start off looking at yesterday's ink, which was Sailor Yurumeku Kyokyo. Here is that dried splat and the dried chromatography. There is this hint of orange here. Um, the best part about this ink is that it goes down looking blue, blue, green, slash gray, uh, and it dries to a purpley, pinky gray. Um, sorry to use such technical terms. But that's yesterday. Um, I think this pen was a good combination for it. It wrote nicely. It, it behaved. It was lighter than I would typically care for though. So not a poorly behaved ink, but one that was a bit light. Now let's move on to today. So we'll find uh, what ink we should be doing. And I'm going to like do a thing. Let's see, we have, oh, I see. A change. I'm happy about this. I'm happy about this ink. I hope this isn't famous last words. I'm happy about this ink and then it turns out to be like not a pleasant experience. That would be sad, wouldn't it? Um, so this is another, I mean this isn't surprising that a lot of these are ink flight inks because I purposely was using samples that I haven't, or inks that I haven't really used before and Like, oh, here it is. So today's ink is Monarca Cardona. Okay, now we gotta find it. So, per use, I'm gonna pause this, dig through the container so you don't have to wait for that. Y'all are like not gonna believe me, but it was literally the first ink that I grabbed. So that's exciting. Uh, this is a shimmer ink, so we gotta keep that in mind. Um, I'm picking a pen, so I'm just kind of, you know, rolling it, shaking it, trying to disperse that thick wad of shimmer down there that just doesn't seem to want to go anywhere. And... I may have switched out this nib. No, I didn't. Well, maybe I did. Still shaking. We're gonna have a great time filling our pen today. Mm-hmm gonna be awesome there's a part of me that actually if I had a finer nib I would do it no they're both B Good, it's good. Don't be a bee, just leave that to your pen. Okay, so, yeah, I thought so. I had one of these like plungery things, like sp spin off ones, and it was just a terrifying experience for me. I wanted to check it. Okay, shake, shake, shake. I went over to go get my syringe and forgot. Perfect. Yep, perfect. Yep, everything's great. I'm gonna go pause and get my syringe. So. Ooh. 
What do you do to fill a pen in it? There's now ink all over here. I think, first off, shake it again. I think I could pull the nib in the feed and then syringe fill through the top. It's like we're doing science, so I'm kind of in love with this plan. Nope, oh, half the battle. That's a lot of ink that I just put in there. That's good, that's good. I just expelled a drop into the thing so that hopefully, hopefully we don't have the usual struggle of making the ink right. We do have the usual fun of ink on our hands. So let's get our this thing. What? Uh, chromatography paper. I play with these all day. While I'm working. You know, I'm on calls and I'm like, rrr, 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 rrr. okay, that's going. I haven't shown you the calendar. Well, I don't want to call it a calendar, but here's this so far. Blue heavy. Well, this part is. I mean, it, this part's pretty beautiful. <laughs> Not going to lie. And then Solferino is like, bam, look at me. Are you looking at me yet? Okay, chill out, Maria. Right on. So here we have 30 inks, 30 days. November 2022. Day 16. By the way, if you hear my Slack message notifications, apologies. But that's life. I'm getting Slack messages. Um, I could probably let this go a little bit more. I like going until the water is above the ink. We'll travel further. We'll go a little sec. Like, let's write the name of the ink. Ink is Monarca Car. Dona Pen Twisby Go Smoke B. There. Calling that done for now. What I'm seeing so far with this chromatography is the shimmer left at the bottom and a really saturated sort of raspberry. I do see like, I kind of get the hint that there's red and pink or purple in here. Let it dry. Um, this ink shades nicely, but it has a pretty strong green sheen, which is already like, 
in charge. So let's, are we seeing shimmer in here? Yes, yeah, some, not a lot. Let us make, make with the splats. Because I know that my splat will go on. Wow, this looks alarmingly like blood. Okay, enough. Ooh, I made it look kind of like a heart that's exploding. Let me know if you see that too. Well, my camera stopped recording because my phone ran out of space, so quick wrap up. Um, I kind of think this looks like a heart exploding. Let me know what you think. Uh, it's not completely dry, but we're getting more of the base color on it so far with this, with the sheen or the sparkle, but there's still a good amount of that sheen. Um, looking forward to making stuff happen with this ink and cleaning the ink off of my hands. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you're having a wonderful day, whatever you're up to. Tell me about your, uh, ink and pin, uh, combination today, if you're writing. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Bye.